Question number two. One of the terms in the terms in the binomial expansion of three plus a x to the power six, where a is constant, is given. It's five hundred and forty x to the power four. Question number a. Question a. Find the possible values of a. So you are given this three plus a x to the power six, and one of the term when you expand this using binomial binomial expansion. One of the term is 540 x to the power 4. Then find a. So you, whenever you are given this, you must know the general the nth term formula for this binomial function. The formula is n c r a to the power r b to the power n minus r. If you are given a plus b to the power n. You take any term; it will be in the form n c r. C is uh, the symbol for combination. N c r a to the power r b to the power n minus r. It is same like in arithmetic progression or geometric progression. We take the nth term formula. So here the nth term will be this. But what is our n? Our n is six. Our n is six, and our a is. Three a is the first term. Don't get confused with this a and this a. Here a is the first term, and b is the second term. When you substitute here, six c r a to the power r. A is the first term to the power r into b to the power b is the second term to the power n minus r. So this is the nth term formula for this particular binomial expansion. So this term, one of this term is 540 x to the power 4. It is given. One of this term in the expansion is 540 x to the power 4. So we we can by comparing these two, we can find the value of r. Once you got the value of r, we can find the value of a easily because that's what our objective is. We need to find a. When you compare both sides, this is just a real number, another number. But when you compare these two, you are supposed to get x to the power four here. But you have x to the power. When you simplify, it will be a to the power six minus r, x to the power six minus r. You are supposed it's supposed to be x to the power four. So these two terms are equal. That means your x to the power six minus r should be equal to x to the power four. Or in other words, six minus r equal to four. When you simplify this, your r will be two. So that is our first step. We find r and substitute r back in here, back in the nth term. So nth, term. and again when you equate this, you can find a. So now when we substitute this r back in here, you will get six c r. Six C R, sorry, R is two, so six C two into three to the power two, three to the power R, A X to the power six minus R. R is two, so six minus R is four, which is five hundred and twenty X to the power four. Now simplify, make A as the subject. You got the value of A already. Six C two can be written as six factorial divided by two factorial into four factorial. That's a formula for as uh, NCR, and three square is nine. This will be eight to the power four into x to the power four, which is five hundred and twenty x to the power four. You can cancel out x to the power four. I just equate the coefficient of x to the power four. Here, when you cancel four factorial, you will be left with six times four because six factorial can be written express as six into six times five times four times. Three all the way until one. Four factorial is four times three times two times one. So when you cancel all the way until four, you are left with five into six. So if you don't want to cancel, it, that's okay. Use your calculator to find this value. Two factorial is two, so you will have thirty times thirty divided by two into nine times eight to the power four is five hundred and twenty. So your eight to the power four will be five hundred and twenty. Five hundred and twenty. Sorry, it's five hundred and forty. Five hundred and forty 
it's 540 divided by uh, 9 into 2 upon 30. This one bring it here, you can write it as 15 also, it's up to you. Cancel it out. 6 9s are 54. You cancel this again. 2 2 2s are 4. 8 to the power 4 is 4. A will be plus or minus square root of 2. So your A will be, A can be positive square root of 2, negative square root of 2. But in our question, if it is given A is greater than 0 or something, just neglect the negative value, take the positive. Otherwise your answer is plus or minus square root of 2. So this is how. Whenever you are dealing with a binomial expansion and they say a particular term is this, find this and all, you need to remember this nth term. Nth term formula in binomial expansion which is ncr a power r b to the power n minus r. The part b, hence find the term independent of x in the expansion of there is expansion given 1 upon 81 plus 1 upon x to the power 6 into 3 plus ax to the power 6. Okay, this is our part B. We need to find the term when you multiply this after finding the expansion of this. And when you multiply it both, there will be a lot of terms and so there are some terms with x, some terms will be a constant term that means without x. The question is, Find the term which is independent of x, that means a term without x after multiplying. So what we are going to do, we keep this first one as it is, plus 1 by x to the power 6 into. When you expand this, in your exam you don't need to expand this, I am trying to explain. So when you expand this using the binomial expansion, the uh, binomial expansion is if you have a plus b to the power n, it is a to the power n plus nc1 a to the power 1 b to the power n minus 1 plus nc2 a to the power 2 b to the power n minus 2 plus etc. That's your expansion, binomial expansion. The last term will be just b to the power n. That's a binomial expansion. When we apply the binomial expansion here, first term is a to the power n. a is 3, 3 to the power 6 plus nc1, our n is 6, so nc1, a power 1, b to the power n minus 1. And second term, nc2, a to the power 2, b to the power n minus 2, plus etc. The last term will be b to the power n, b to the power n, our b is this. So this is the binomial expansion of uh, this. So the reason why I wrote this uh, binomial expansion is we are trying to find the constant term, the term without x after multiplication. But now let's say you are not given this. You can straight away write 3 to the power 6 is the only term without x because the rest of the terms all has x in it. So the only term is 3 to the power 6. But when you multiply, what will happen? You cannot just blindly take the what, 3 to the power x and multiply and write the answer. You will be wrong because when you multiply, let's say, we, how do we multiply? We take the first term and we multiply everything. That means 1 upon 81 multiplied by everything. What will happen when you multiply by 1 upon 81? This term will be independent of x into 3 to the power x plus when you multiply second term, it has x in it, third term, it has x in it, even the last term, it has x in it. So the rest of the terms all, we are going to omit the rest of the terms because the rest of the terms all has uh, x in it, x in it. So we don't need to take the rest of the terms. We take only the first term into first term. Now move on here, we need to multiply 1 upon x to the power 6 with all the terms. But you might be wondering, we are looking for a term without x, why do we need to multiply? We can just omit no. Because when you multiply this with the last term, the rest of the terms are okay. You will have you will have x in it even after multiplication. But when you multiply this by the last term, 1 upon x to the power 6 by the last term, your x to the power 6 will be cancelled. You will be left with a term without you will be left with the term independent of x. 
that's the reason you need to be very careful when you multiply you cannot just jump into conclusion and take this multiply this that's your answer that will be wrong you need to be very careful that's a tricky part here when you multiply this with the last term your x to the power 6 will be cancelled so you'll be left with 8 to the power 6 here when you cancel out 3 to the power 4 is 81 so when you cancel out 9 plus 8 to the power 6 and in our part a a is plus or minus 2 when you substitute here plus or minus 2 even you put plus square root of 2 or minus square root of 2 you will get the same value it will be 9 plus uh, root 2 to the power 3 which is which is 17 is your answer so the answer for this expression the, the after multiplication the term without without x the term independent of x will be 70 after simplification